right, so we got the plugin here up and loaded. Some of the things that I first wanna cover off is the modules that I have in here. Uh, you can see there's a lot of stuff they've kind of got here over the time they've added these in. Some of these have been here since a while uh, and some of these have been you know, added in recently. So I won't go through the entire plugin because I don't wanna do this as an extended review type thing. I just really wanna get into the uh, nuts and bolts of the plugin. Um, give you guys like a quick example of what this sounds like and get straight into the audio as well. So, so I won't go through all of it. I just wanna show you guys what this does to these tracks. All right, so we've got the plugin here in bypass mode. I'm gonna activate the plugin and set this up. And first of all, what always comes up on this plugin is the EQ and the maximizer. Um, I guess you kind of get a bit of a boost here because this is already pushing 2 dB of gain. So if you didn't wanna have that, you could either pull that, le that level up there to threshold at zero or hit the gain match so that it doesn't give you any additional you know, gain in that sense. Uh, but what we wanna try and do is listen to how this plugin affects the audio from the get-go with this mastering assistant. I wanna hear this one and see what this does. I'm gonna reset this plugin from uh, the get-go so you can bypass again, you can reset it uh, and do all that stuff. So we'll go to relearn and we'll have a listen to this track. Check this out. Not entirely sure what this is thinking. Well, okay. Um, so I guess Ozone thinks that it needs a lot of low end here. I don't necessarily think that's the case. So I'm probably going to bring that one right back down to where it needs to be. And maybe have that at about 5 dB, considering that's the case. Um, they removed a lot of stuff here uh, in the lower mid range, which probably doesn't need that either. Um, but again, I could, you know, I could use this uh, to adjust the dial here as to how much I want, um, which is kind of handy to have that as well. And you can change this into mid side uh, mode if you wanted to, or left and right if there's misbalances on your EQ. Um, they're using analog versus digital, so I'm going with analog as well because I kind of like the way that that, you know, the curves are for that uh, on that side. Stabilizer, uh, not sure what's going on here, so let's check this out and have a listen. Forty days through this pain, constantly strangers in the dark to answer questions while these people die. Problems flow, no answers, need I devil in the air, I don't need fear, it is written. Fools will test the Lord, oh forgive them. Why would he breathe through this pain? Why would he choose to do these things? Why would he leave you here? Then the devil left the pain. I feel like the way that that is working is somewhat beneficial for the track. Don't know how I'd feel about it going through the entire track and, you know, kind of being a dynamic kind of thing, but. It seems to be giving a little bit more clarity in the mix as far as the lows, the mids, and the highs. Uh, and it's doing something that I kind of like, I think. Um, I'm not sure. But anyway, let's keep going. Have a listen to this. 40 days through this pain, constantly strangers in the dark to answer questions while these people die. Problems flow, no answers. Need I devil in the air? I don't need fear. It is written. Fools will test the Lord. Oh, forgive them. Why would he breathe through? All 
All right. I think that this kind of came up with a pretty good starting point for a plugin. Um, I don't know if I would necessarily keep every single thing in here. For sure, the imager was whack uh, when I first got that open, but I adjusted that to kind of make more sense to what I felt like it needed to be at. Uh, and as far as the, uh, the dynamic EQ, again, that was a little bit too much reduction for a mastering project, in my opinion. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. I just don't think that you need that much in mastering. It should be done. If there's an issue with it, sort it out when it's back in the mix. Um, stabilizer, again, that was kind of interesting as well, the way of how much it was removing, I should say, uh, in that sense. And the EQ was just completely insane. Uh, I would never have that much gain on the lows or the top area ever um, in a mastering project. But hey, that's what we came up with. I mean, I went way back with that. I kind of reduced it anyway, so that's not going to be so crazy. So about 38% made sense to me. Impact, not sure um you know it's changing something a little bit and again you can change this to mid side so that i guess that could be very useful in certain situations where you really have trouble with uh the way that the envelope or the transients are affecting the sound um, if you want to give it more punch or certain things are just too punchy uh, you could kind of use that to to uh to train your you know your sibilance there or, or tame them i should say um, you can synchronize it as well uh, which is kind of cool uh, and that's also useful. Uh, so that's that. Uh, again, you know, back on the Delta, you can hear what it's actually doing. So I'm just curious to know what that's actually, what that sounds like. Let's see. So that's playing the actual affected signals. And on there, you can sync it. So that looks like it would be synced to the tempo. Um, and I would assume that would be project base which is this is incorrect for this tempo but anyway if you're going to use it make sure you have a correct tempo on your project so that it's syncing correctly with the sound or the song that you're playing there um, that that kind of could be useful because transient wise you want that to affect your transients in a tempo um, you know especially with delays and reverbs and things like that um, you want the same thing with your kick your bass your snare all that stuff is te tempo based so you want it to be affected uh, how it should be so that's really awesome. I think that that's cool that they added that uh, tempo syncing in there so that it kind of allows you to sync it that way. And it tells you how much uh, by what amount. So 1 16th or 1 8th or, you know, 1 4th or 1 2. Uh, it just depends on what sounds good to you, I guess, in that situation. Uh, again, you can use this as learning on its own or in the whole intelligent mode there as well. Um, the maximizer, it didn't really need to maximize a whole lot because this is really a very dense track. If you look at the, uh, the track itself, I'll just move this out of the way. Uh, you can kind of see it's already quite dense, so it doesn't need to be uh, pushed up a fair bit as the other track did. Uh, but that is good that they kind of give you a normal range, not a crazy range, because it's already peak. As far as RMS and stuff, it's already quite loud. Uh, and they kept the ceiling again at the minus, uh, I should say, minus 1.0, so that you don't have overs. Uh, they try to avoid that for the streaming platforms. Again, soft clip. Um, I think this is a very useful scenario i kind of wish they would have a little bit more behind the hood uh, like a little advanced button you could select maybe um, instead of just these three things here especially for the technical uh, kind of person who wants to get a little bit more behind the hood but i can understand um, you know this plugin is directed towards somebody who may not have an idea about mastering which i had the faintest idea when i first started audio you know 10 so years ago um, this would have been super useful just to have something that you know kind of gives me something to play with, but I don't have to go crazy about knowing what's going on behind the hood. Um, but they should have something, you know, there should be something for the, the more technical savvy person as well to allow them to adjust that. Uh, transient emphasis, I, I'm always a fan of this, um, be it you don't need it all, all the time, but it definitely does do something. Uh, I like the way that that sounded, especially at the 9%, which is very minimal. Um, and again, you know, that's affecting the, the final output of the transient. That is pretty much it. Hopefully this was somewhat beneficial to you guys and you know it gives you a bit of an idea about how this plugin works. I think it's definitely an improvement on number nine, Ozone 9. And you know, going back all the way since the, I've been on it, five I think I started, uh, you know, people were on their way before me as well, but I started back I think, you know, five versions ago. So I've been a fan of Ozone. I love Ozone plugins. Some of their stuff is just super useful, super, uh, you know, beneficial to have. And I think they just keep up in the game every time. So hopefully this is useful to you. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Catch you later.
I'm flowing no answers Need my devil in the air I don't need fear it is written Fools will test the Lord Oh forgive them Why would he breathe through this pain?